she decided to use the back door. Well, you know what they say, back door guests are best. Hello, I'm Taryn S. And I've been brewing magic for a very long time now. Come on in. Let's brew some together. Hello, hello. Crossroads witches and other magical folk leaning in today. Thank you all so much. I, I'm so excited with the growth of this channel. And one of the common questions I get is folks want to know, what's Crossroads Witch? All right, and I'll let you know, we're a little hard to explain because we're spicy and sweet and each one of us is different. So I'm going to talk a lot about sort of philosophy more so than actual dogma. All right, because there is no dogma on the Crossroads. Crossroads witchcraft are witches who stand in the crossroads. The crossroads of life, the crossroads of magic, the crossroads of spirituality. We understand that there is both dark and light, and we use both sides. What does that mean? It means that I'll bless you as quick as I'll curse you. All right? But of course, I have righteous vengeance work within balance. This isn't about old dark witch who, you know, just uh, waits for people to, to come by so you can trip on them. That's not what I'm saying. All right. In the crossroads is where everything comes together. All right. In physical crossroad spaces, we hear a lot, you know, take your magic to the crossroads, three crossroads for Hecate, seven crossroads for the devil. All right. You know, a uh, five-way crossroads opens up divinity. There's all these different, you know, numbers to those lines going through a point. And it's very similar to ley lines, all right, in which we know Roman roads were laid on the ley lines. And when these ley lines intersect, we find those are crossroads. And in ley line crossroads is where a majority of pagan, prehistory, pre-Christian temples were built was because they understood that it's in the middle of, all right? And for us as Crossroads Witches, we know that magic is global. We're connected to it all. And it's up for us to come at it with honor, reverence, and respect. I'm talking about letting each, when you're in the Crossroads, there's different places that you stand between. For me personally, um, I'm a conjuring flat hat witch, all right, uh, meaning that, you know, uh, part of the conjuring, part of the root working, part of hoodoo. I worked for a Haitian voodoo priest uh, about a decade part-time and about 12 years full-time. All told, I was up at the shop almost 26 years. But I'm still a witch. I still... The goddess to me, mother goddess Gaia is sort of how I personally define divinity, but not even really that because I think it's both male and female and it's together and it's not even really a gender. Um, it's just divinity. Um, and that's personal. And at the same time, I light my candles, you know, to, uh, to the Orsha. All right, um, as I've been taught by Papa Nico within American Voodoo. And so these are my personal crossroads, the crossroads of the witchcraft, bringing that European, modern, Victorian, romanticized aesthetic, because that's where we got it all from. I know y'all like, what in the world did she just say? The modern witch, our aesthetic, as we know the modern witch, comes to us actually through uh the Victorian era, late 1800s. And that's where we see a, a changing of the witch into the beautiful, bewitching, spellbinding type deal, and not the hag with the nose, all right? We as witches, our stories are always evolving, you know? Just like I was talking about the goddess Sarati as a modern, wit a modern goddess to witches, all right, she's so old, she's new to us, she's returned. Okay, I think I got off subject there. All right, let me get back on my train track. I'm back. The crossroads, spiritually, all right, 
are places that we all stand. It's not, we don't pick a box per se, all right? You know, we don't choose on as far as traditions, all right? Um, we understand that all of them are valid. All paths to divinity are valid. Each witch comes to the circle as an individual first. Each witch has their own personal relationship with divinity. But one thing you will find with, like I was saying, within Crossroads Witchcraft is we don't have a dogma. We don't all worship the goddess Hecate, all right? Some of us may, some of us may not. Some of us are Christian witches, and for us, it's the Abriatic uh, energies, the Abriatic magic that they, you know, come to. And for others, it's not, but that we're all still crossroads. We're all still standing on the crossroads together. And we understand it's not about me trying to uh, do your magic, me trying to judge your magic or validate it, all right? You're doing you, boo, and I'm doing me, boo. And we come to the circle together and we stand shoulder to shoulder, all right? And when we're those crossroads, they're busy places. You can get mowed down if you ain't paying attention because, boy, is there some traffic there sometimes. <laughs> but they are also the most welcoming places. That's where the world opens up to us in a way we didn't even realize. Like I said earlier, magic is global. If you get all the way back into it, we're all one tribe, okay? And we have a 40,000 year history of magic. And all of that needs to be, you know, honor, reverence, and respect. And it ain't about judging is your way the right way, is, is your witchy tradition real, you know, and putting qualifiers on it and gatekeepers and saying you have to believe this and all that, uh-uh, honey. We all come to the circle as individuals first. We all bring our own magic. I don't come to the crossroads seeking magic. The magic is within me. I come to the crossroads to amplify the magic that I have. I come to the crossroads to stand shoulder to shoulder with other uh, strong individual witches, all right, that have their own opinions, their own ideas, and their own recipes. And we come together, and of course we could, you know, get notes and hints off of each other, all right, because it's about learning when you're in the crossroads, all right? This isn't about bringing your stuff and trying to convince everybody that the way that we do ritual is the right way. It's real, all right? Um, that's not what Crossroads Witchcraft is about. It is about strong individual witches standing shoulder to shoulder. And each of us has our own story, our own magic, and our own relationship with divinity. So sometimes it is hard to define us, all right? We are so many different flavors. We have several different covens, and each one is its own unique flavor according to the people standing in it, according to the region, according to their cultural stories, you know? They blend up their own wonderful funky gumbo. Like here at where I'm at, currently I'm with the Cottage Witches in San Diego. This coven, this is a coven of Southern, Wit of Southern California witches, all right? And they celebrate that. They celebrate their Southern California roots. They've learned about the local history, the dirt that they stand on their family's histories, and they've developed a relationship with divinity as an individual. And then we all come to circle together and we dance around the bonfire for the magic of the moment. We danced for the joy of dancing, all right? You know, and I know a lot of times, like I said, I have people like, what is Crossroads Witchcraft? What do you believe? And I'm thinking, well, I believe a lot of things. And I also know that each of those other Crossroads Witches, they believe something different than I do. <laughs> but we do have commonalities. We do magic. We all do magic. That's our, our common link. 
and we respect the fact that each of us are doing our own magic, you know, and it's about developing a highly personalized system of magic that works for you. It's about developing your personal relationships. I keep saying this, your personal relationship with divinity, all right? Setting up your own altar, feeding it, finding that place where you have a sense of connection, whether it's with the goddess, the god and the god, or lots of gods and goddesses, all right? That is for each witch to decide. And I, I hope this explains, because like I said, sometimes I'm sitting there thinking, yeah, you can't explain us. We're the witches that don't quite fit in. Like I said earlier, we are both dark and light. And some people step back off of that going, oh no, no, evil, bad. There ain't no evil, bad in balance. There ain't no evil, bad in mother nature. All right. You know, that stuff that man, that stuff that's Hollywood, that stuff that folks have done put on us. All right. We work within like energy to like energy. We'll talk about righteous vengeance. If it's fair, you know, and there are times that, yeah, some folks need a good kick in their ass and I'm going to give it to them because it's the fair thing to do. It's the righteous thing to do. It's not about me doing it from um, the dark places. All right. When I say dark places, what am I saying? Envy, jealousy, greed. All right. Hate. Um, and of course, sloth laziness uh those are dark places and if that's driving your magic then um yeah you're doing dark magic it is what it is you know and that's for each witch again to have their own set of morals and ethics you know what is right for you and you honor that all right crossroads witches are very empowered they know themselves they are a take no shit group of folks, all right? You know, like I said, this is not a place for the weak. This is not a place for folks in which you're, you know, please come solve my problems. We're not here to solve your problems, all right? You have to solve your own problems. And so I think sometimes uh, we end up get put in that box of, ooh, those are those dark witches. And if you want to call us that, fine, we're dark witches. But we're very, very happy dark witches. And so this is sort of my rambling explanation of Crossroads Witchcraft, what it is and what it isn't. What it is is an empowering path that opens you up to global magic and understanding you don't have to choose. It's all connected. What it isn't is uh, an in the box tradition. We all shall do this accordingly. We've been doing it like this and so we're going to keep doing it even if it doesn't work. We're still going to do it. We all stand on ritual the same way. We all say words the same way. All right. And for some folks, that that track is what they need. I, I sort of said that a little condescending and I don't want to do that. Um, that they like that rote familiarity uh, allows them to expand. I respect that. All right. And for other witches like me, I, I want in the moment and the crossroads, what is the universe, what's divinity got going on right here, right now, and I want to lean into it, you know? And sometimes you don't know when you, what's going to happen at the crossroads. Just like when I walk down in my circle sometimes, I'm like, I have no idea. I'm going to wait till I get there and I'm going to see what the energies are saying. I'm going to see what spirit folk is whispering up in my ear. And then what I decide I'm going to do. All right, witches, I thought I would give out, like I said, my rambling explanation. I need to sit down and come up with some little, like, bullet phrases for it. But I don't think there are any. Um, closest I got is we're spicy and sweet. And we are very individualized, you know. So I hope all, it helps all y'all out there with trying to understand a little bit more about Terran S, the House of Witchcraft. All right and what our magic is about. 
So I want to thank all y'all for joining me. If this is something you're interested in, you want to know more, please go to houseofwitchcraft.com. And I want to thank all y'all for joining me here today. I hope you have as bright of a blessed day as I'm having. And as always, amen, blessed be, ashe, and evovo.